welcome back to another lecture of our safety oil crash course series so we will be continuing from where we previously left so in this video we will be talking about conditional views in safety oil so till now we have seen that uh, if we add something inside the body uh, like body accepts only one element like a v stack or a z stack and inside this we will pass we can pass any kind of view like image conforms to view protocol that's why we are able to pass it and sim similarly subscribe button we have created this button and this conforms to view protocol that's why we are able to pass it and now you'll be seeing that let's say if we have certain condition like i want to show this image only if some criteria is matched so for this kind of use we can use if else statement inside our body so uh, in the left hand side you can see i have a conditional view file so let's open it and here i have already written the code so let's go through the code and uh, understand. So first of all, I have a state variable which is uh, is logged in, which holds whether a uh, true and false. And inside the body, you can see I have used an if condition. So so if I collapse it for better readability, you can see I have written an if condition. If user is logged in, then these three dots these actually represent the uh, code Z stack. So these three lines will be executed. So if user is logged in, he will see this view. And if he is not logged in, then the else block will be executed, which is this text. And this button will always be visible because it is outside the if else block. So this button will always be executed. And on click of this button, uh, is logged in state will change. And uh, this is the title of the button. So you can see that we have used an if else statement to return the kind of view that we want. We are saying that if user is logged in, I want to show him a rectangle and a text. And if he is not logged in, I just simply want to show him a uh, text which, which says, please log in. Now, let's come to the right hand side in the canvas and you'll see if I click on this login button, currently we are seeing please login text, which is this else block. And then a login button, this block. And once we click on this login button, you will see that uh, the state will change and you will see that this if condition is now running. So this is very helpful in Swift UI because uh, there are many times when you will want to uh, show or hide some details from the user based on the criteria, based on this uh, boolean variable. So this is how you can use if else statement uh, to implement such functionality. Uh, this was a very short video. I just wanted to introduce you through this FLS block because we will be using it in our next lectures. So uh, that's it for this video. And if you have any doubts, just let me know in the comments. And thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.